Hi there, Rebecca. This is your son, Eli. Let's go through the two things we talked about today in Word. So we're both using Word for Mac 2011, so things should be very similar for us. If things look a little bit different, I'll show you how to fix that. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we're actually looking at the same kind of layout. So you'll see for me, I've got this set of tabs here, Home, Layout, Document Elements, etc. You may not see all of these details, and if you don't, you just need to go to the View menu up top, and then make sure that r the ribbon is on. If you click, boom, it all hides away. It's very sad. So I go back into View, and turn on the ribbon. Voila! So, we take our document, and we go to Layout. And then you'll see right here, there's a big icon for Margins. So if you click the drop-down little arrow here, You'll see it shows you the whole bunch of default margins, but if you don't like any of them, they're all wrong, you can click Custom Margins, and then from here, change your left, change your right, click OK, and you'll see right here it says Apply to Whole Document, so that means it'll apply to the whole document. Hooray! So that's how you go through and change the margins. The other way, of course, we talked about is to go through the File menu, which is to go to File, Page Setup, from the Settings change it to Microsoft Word, and then click Margins, and you'll see it takes you actually back to the whole same screen. Again, you can make the edits and click OK. Both of those are two ways of getting to the same place. So if you can't figure out the first way, the second way is what we did together, and that should work as well. The second thing we talked about was the hanging indent. So to work the magic of the hanging indent, what we want to do is basically find the text and say, all right, let's highlight this text. And I did that just by clicking Command A, which is a shortcut, or you can also go to Edit, Select All. And then you go to the Format menu up top, and then we say Paragraph. And you'll see here that we're on the Indents and Spacing sub-tab. And we here is the spacing, wait, here's the indentation section. So what we want to do right now is say indentation is under the special menu. We click here and we say we want to do this for hanging. So you click hanging, boom, and then you set your size of that hanging indent. It defaults to 1.27 centimeters. If you want it to be bigger or smaller, off you go. So once you've got all that, you click OK, and you'll see, again, it's done its magic. So hopefully that will work out beautifully for you. If you actually want to then change that indent, you can see you can always use this double arrow thing here. So you'll see when I'm clicking on the top of these two little blue dots, it says hanging indent. So I can drag that and move that back and forth. But again, if you don't see that, we can just use the other system we had. So hopefully that helps, and uh, I wish you all the best. Love you lots. Catch you later, mums.